and the Harry Potter loot crate. So, Wizards and Wizards, it's finally come, and this theme is Professor's Lounge. Now, I haven't looked inside just yet, all I've done is broken the seal, so you and I will be discovering what's inside together, but I do hope there's a prop replica inside, because you know me, I love a good prop replica, if it's straight out of the film, I want it. Okay, so just give you a peek of what the sticker is, it's a little Hogwarts logo there, so let's open that up and see what we can have in store. Okay, that's your sneak peek. <laughs> it is fun doing this. Okay, first things first. Let's go with the thing that's on top. Now, I see a t-shirt, and I do like t-shirts. This is a t-shirt from a previous box. I like Harry Potter t-shirts, so hopefully I will like this one too. Let's see what it is together. What is it? Okay, I like that it's blue, but I don't like this cartoony kind of stuff. It almost reminds me of that chibi stuff and I don't like chibi. This almost seems like like almost like a Japanese type cartoon but I can see that it's got the yellow so there must be different ones for each of the houses. Now I think I probably would have liked it more if it wasn't that even though it is Minerva McGonagall on the front and I love Minerva, Minerva McGonagall but this cartoony, I don't know. This is actually one I think I won't be keeping. Oh, that's a shame. I love Harry Potter t-shirts. Oh, not a great start to the box. Well, let's go on the next item. Okay. Next one is, what is this? It's a little pouchy bag thing. Okay, so it's got the cauldron. It's got a cauldron on the front. And this is like one of the Mina Lima design cauldrons. So I do like that. It's got Hogwarts on the... In, in the cauldron, so it's a Hogwarts cauldron. And, oh, there's actually, oh, I like that, that's cool. There's actually, oh, let's see if I can get that to show on camera. So it's just got Half-Blood Prince written there, and that's in like, spoiler alert, <laughs> Snape's writing. I like that, that's, that's cool, yeah. I wonder, is it a pencil case? Is it a, like, toiletries, travel, bag? And inside it's got really bright green cauldron and magical smoke. So it's just the same as the front cover as the advanced potion making. Okay, I like that. I will actually use this. This is actually really good. Teacher's Lounge? Is this supposed to be a potions bag? <laughs> I guess potions, toiletries, perfumes, potions. Okay, I guess that would go in there. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. This is actually a good item. Alright, I like this. I will use this. So, not bad. So, I just got out the packaging. And I see a pin badge. Okay, I've obviously got used to these. I know that these are pin badges now. I've not been in Loot Crate long, but I know these are pin badges. So, let's discover what it is together. Okay, so what is it? I think I see a castle from this distance. Okay, yeah, so it is Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Um, it's a pretty design. I do like that it's shiny. It's, for some reason, the, the rooftops are blue. If you can see that there. It's been that close there. Yes, yeah, so the rooftops are blue. And it is shiny, it is pretty. I do like that. Okay, yeah, not bad. I mean, it's not amazing, but I love it. Next item, spider comb? A spider comb. So is this, would this be a Hagrid item? Because he's Care of Magical Creatures teacher? A spider comb. He probably would need a comb, wouldn't he? This is so random. So it is a little comb. It almost feels like it's missing some missing like the handle. But it does look like I guess it does look like a spider? Because it's got like the fit, the eyes on there. That is so random. I've got a spider on my head! Guess I could use this. Could this go in my travel bag? So my travel comb? I mean I do sometimes use a comb, so and it is a Wizarding World theme comb. This is so random, but I think I will probably use this. Again, just got it out of the packaging. Um, it is a Hufflepuff notebook. Now obviously I'm assuming that 
if depending what house you're in you would get the coordinating one it's got a gold pen on which I've actually just noticed has something on there from behind and it does actually have Gildroy Lockhart's like signature on there so is this a Gildroy Lockhart so is this his is this an autograph book would that be it's it's got kind of like faux leather like crinkly looking but it is got it has got half a puff on inside that's pretty look at that is that like watermark I don't know is it gold it's not almost shiny but it looks like it's shiny it's probably a scan of gold and then to have that printed and is it on both sides it is that's that's really nice that's actually quite a no nice notebook and then inside it has got okay so it's got Lockhart's logo on and it has a signature in the bottom. So is this a Gilderoy Lockhart autograph book? Because on every page is his autograph, but you would imagine he would sign every page, wouldn't he? <laughs> this is clever. I like, I would actually get use out of this. Like for when I am not allowed digital devices and I need a book to write notes in or something, this would actually come in handy. Okay, I'm feeling this. So far, these are three items I probably would use. Not all the time, but not bad. Okay, not bad. And then there's a final, there is actually a final item and there is actually a, so now it's a cheat card. So I won't look at that just yet. I'll show you that, but there's a massive item for the last item. And I think I know what this is because we did get a sneak peek of what this possibly could be. Now, is this going to live up to what we saw it would be? It does say grim, can you see that? Grim teacup. Now is that just going to be a horrible teacup or is it going to be a teacup with the groom in it? The groom, you idiot, not the grin. <laughs> okay, so there's the teak. So that's the hand wash only do not microwave saucer. And on the saucer it says, my dear, you have the grim. I already did the joke, so I can't do it now. Well, and then underneath is the actual tea cup itself okay and it's just plain it's a plain tea cup but it's not plain on the inside when you finish your tea it has got the grim yes okay let's see well actually there's some polystyrene in there don't want to drink that so i'll probably wash that okay it's clever it's cute it's a little teacup i guess you can use it. Would I use it? I think I would use it on the odd occasion. Maybe for photos. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Just, yeah, just regular. So. Okay, so finally, the cheat sheet, which is Professor's Lounge. So get into the classroom and celebrate Hogwarts, Professor's past and present in this whizzing world. Great. So, oh yes, okay, so if you, depending on what house you're in, that's the coloured book, uh, notebook that you get. The t-shirt would change slightly depending on what house you're in. The rest is all the same. So the Snape Potions Dop Kit. Keep all your toiletry concoctions safe in this potions knee bag. So it is a toiletry bag, I love that, I would use that. T-shirt, meh. If it didn't have this kind of cartoony stuff on there, I think I would have kept it, but... Oh, it's not the greatest. I'm not happy with that. Hogwarts House Journal with Gilderoy Lockhart's signature pen. Take notes and ace your owls with this journal and pen signed by a certain author. That should be a spoiler alert there. Spider comb. So you brush out your beard or your hair with this comb inspired by Hagrid. So it is a Hagrid item. The Grim Tea Cup, of course, Professor Trelawney. And the Hogwarts pin is just to celebrate the magical place. So these are all exclusive items for this crate and the box is quite large so you could probably when I turn this inside out I would probably keep this as a storage box so I think that it's made good use okay so favorite items I'm gonna have to say I do really like this teacup I think it is clever I've never had it I think I probably would like it even more if it was actually a replica of the teacup that Harry has like you know the one from the film with the pattern on the inside. That would have been chef's kiss. But at the moment it's a plain teacup with the groom in it and a little quote. Yeah, okay, it's clever, it's not bad. I would probably, I'd probably keep that. 
but the most, I think, I think the, the things I will probably get the most out of are probably going to be the toiletry bag when I go traveling, which we can do more now, because I do like that, or even if you just want to use it as like a pencil case, because craft pens and pencils and tools and stuff, you can keep in that toilet, totally, it's just a bag that you can zip up, so totally you can use it for that. And then this little notebook, so if I'm, um, like it's small, you can write notes on it, it is a clickable pen, which is clever. And yeah, how many people can say they have a gold Gildroy Lockhart pen? Some thought is going into this, I do like the execution of this. It's not it's not bad at all. So the Harry Potter loot crate that is currently for sale, its theme is Euro Wizard, and I find that very intriguing because the imagery that it's giving me is like all the first Harry Potter films. I'm very interested to see what is included in that. And if you're not signed up to Loot Crate and would like to get a discount, then be sure to use my code one spell away 15 when you visit lootcrate.com to get 15% off. And let me know in the comment section below which of these items was your favourite? And will you be signing up to, to Wizarding World Loot Crate? I'd be really interested to know. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe by clicking on that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that when there's a new video, you'll be notified. Be sure to give this video a like, and with that, remember the Wizarding World is just one spell away.